One meaning of hatha which we have already looked at is, means uh, tenacity. To reshape the body, to in a way to re-engineer the whole system in a very fundamental way takes a certain level of tenacity. This is not for… this is not even for God because it seems he took a holiday on Sunday. <laughs> yes? Shiva didn't but from where you come, most of you, God took a break on Sunday. So he is not a Hatha Yogi, he cannot be. <laughs> Hatha Yogi has a tenacity, there is no Sunday, Monday for him. He's on and on. Because if you don't do that, you cannot recreate a body which has already become an adult. This is recreating the body means first time your body has been created largely from an information that has come from your parentage. What memory their bodies carried, what was one, two come together and a more complex memory system is formed every time a child is born. So the shape of the body, the tone of your… how your system is, everything largely shaped from this memory. Now, if you are in a certain way, there are ways to do this, we can actually set up long-term experiments if somebody is willing to fund and do, we can show. Right now you trace back, let's say five generations ago, my great-great-grandfather, great-great-great-grandfather was a great guy. He was very intelligent, very physically fit and capable of many things. I want to become like him. We can do certain type of yoga so that we are able to largely take that part of the memory in your system. Maybe your father was a weak man, you don't want to be like him, you want to be like your great-great-grandfather. There are certain types of yogas to identify that memory and activate that memory to the maximum. That will not be the only one, but that will dominate. So yogic system looked at it this way or another way is generally the yogic system follows this. When the Saptarishi sat in front of Adiyogi, their only aspiration was they wanted to become like him. They were not interested in fathers and grandfathers. So he said, we'll obliterate every other memory and you work on this. So the first step even today, people who take sannyas take is, there are certain processes to distance yourself from your genetic memory which comes from elsewhere. Because a little distance suddenly allows so much flexibility in the system. But if you take away the genetic memory, if you successfully alienate yourself from the genetic memory, you must be very conscious to reshape yourself the way you want. You must have the necessary sadhana. Otherwise, no memory, no consciousness, this will go… People may die soon. It's possible. If one distances himself from his genetic memory and does not do the necessary work that is needed to rebuild the system, his system may collapse within a certain period of time because it's the memory that is in the genetic substance which holds the body in a certain level of integrity. Why one person's body seems to be much more integrated than another, naturally, is essentially because of the type of memory that they carry. So in Hatha Yoga, we are not trying to, at least at this stage of doing things, we are not trying to distance from the genetic memory, we are trying to take the best that is there in us. There may be all kinds of people. Let's say if you look back next last twenty-five generations, the family tree, if you look at it, if you look at the immediately previous generation, you are only concerned with two people, your father and your mother. But if you look little further, there are hundred and fifty guys who are contributing to your memory. Now, all these people, we don't know what kind of people they are. 
some might have been very strong, some weak, some diseased, some healthy, some very focused, some all over the place. There could be all kinds of people in this tree. From where do you draw is an important thing or how to draw the best from all this is an important thing. Hatha means, ha means sun, tha means moon. To draw directly from our parentage, essentially our parentage is sun and moon and planet. These are the three. The planet is the omb, sun and moon in some way are impregnating and this is happening. If there is no sun, there would be no life. If there is no moon, life wouldn't be the way it is right now, it would be probably some other way. So these three dimensions are playing an important role. So one aspect of hatha is to keep our parentage aside. My father, my grandfather, my… all these people, you keep them aside because ultimately all their lineage goes to sun and moon. You want to draw straight from that. That is what hatha yoga means. You bring such a balance that this intermediate transmission is lost and you draw directly from that as life was made. On the way so much corruption has happened through millions of generations. You want to eliminate that and you want to draw straight from your father and mother, sun is seen as the father, moon is seen as the mother. As we have been many times looking at this, our mothers have had the eligibility to become our mothers only because they were synchronized with the cycles of the moon. Otherwise, they wouldn't have… they would not be eligible to become our mothers. They could bear children only because of that. So, to directly associate with the original mother and the father in between, in yoga we say in between is all corruption. <laughs> all mix up genetic and other memories, you know, all kinds of things happened. Some might have been good, some might have been bad, all kinds of mixtures, we don't have control over that. So to draw directly from ha and ta, that is the sun and the moon, so, uh, the nature of Hatha Yoga is to gradually connect with the sun and the moon rather than… you must… you must check this after you… after two and a half years of practice, sounds too long? Every day, two and a half years if you practice, if you simply close your eyes like this, you must be able to say, what face of moon is today? because it's so manifest in your system. A Hatha yogi, if he closes his eyes, he must be able to say, what face of moon? There are other aspects of the sun one can know, which is more complex. But at least the moon faces one must know within himself. This is completely absent in people. That means totally disaligned with the original source of our physical manifestation. So physical, is important if you want to do things in the world. If you just want to realize yourself and leave your body, there are other ways to do it. Simply like this we can have you pop, but don't do it in the ashram, okay <laughs> If it is just a question of realization, it can be done in so many ways. You want to be realized and you want to live powerfully, then hatha becomes an important aspect.